What's up Chappy fam? It's Jen with Chappy Plans. Today I'm doing something a little different. It will be a flip through of my planner. This is the first time I've ever done this, but it has come uh, highly requested, which is so flattering. And so I figured, I know it's late. It's definitely, we're way, we're almost to August, but better late than never. So if you wanna see uh, my planner from January through June of 2021, stick around. <music> everybody thanks for coming to hang out with me today I'm really excited about this video it's just gonna be a lot of talking and reminiscing um, I've been using the cover and dividers from this yay seasons 2021 planner I just really loved the bright colorful vibe and that it says 2021 um, this is where I have kept everything that I've planned so far as my catch-all. Um, right now, my catch-all is in this. This is the current one I'm using. Um, but once I finish a month, I will move it into here and then it will be put up on my shelf for safekeeping. So let's get started. I This video, um, a lot of people have wanted to see. So I'm really excited to be able to get, um, give it to everybody. It says the Chapmans because I use this as my catch-all for my family. So um I don't hardly ever use these pages. Yeah, I guess I didn't use any of them. Um, so this was January. These stickers were from, oh my goodness, I don't know if I can remember what it's called. Glitter paint maybe? And some Live Love Posh stickers. I wanted to do like a pink and gold and champagne colored spread for the new year. Um, so first spread, I used, I think... This looks to me like the minimalist and homebody. Or maybe as wellness warrior and homebody. Either way, lots of fun things going on. I was using this sidebar to track our dinners. Um, and then my appointments and play dates and special um, occasions and things like that. Every Friday night we've been having since the pandemic started and things shut down, we've been having a movie night and takeout. Um, so... And then this is the first full week of January. Uh, this was when I highlighted it because that's when the Capitol was um, invaded. And then this this week I used the sidebar for my to-do list. So, um, and then I put a couple habit trackers down here. Um, and then I sometimes will practice like my brush lettering. So, um, you might see that throughout some of my spreads. This was um, Miss Maker. I used Miss Maker and Planner Babe to create this spread. And I think I wanted to use these stickers because it was like when I decided I was going to start a YouTube channel. Um, so this was when Biden and Harris were inaugurated. Um, again, I'm using the sidebar as a to-do list. I remember filming this plan with me now. I was really nervous <laughs> when I filmed this video. You can go back and watch it. It's still up there. Um, okay. And then I use these Mambi sticks. I love the Squad Girls. They're some of my favorite collections the Happy Planner has ever come out with. I love florals, uh, seasonal, rainbows, and all the girls, all the dolls. So this was the Mambi sticks in conjunction with a Live Love Posh like sticker kit that I purchased. Um, and this is when I've been was homeschooling. I homeschooled up until April. So a lot of these to do's are like things I needed to get done for homeschooling um, and things like that. Errands that I need to run and of course any play dates that happened. Um, and then we're into February. I don't even know if I ever posted this. Nora put this stamp here after the fact, but I don't know if I ever posted this um, currently page. But I wanted to use Mulan. And then February, so I obviously went with like a Valentine's Day theme for my monthly. And I used the Stronger Together stickers um, on here. <laughs> Release day, this is my mother-in-law's birthday appointments all the fun things 
okay valentine's week so i used some of alicia michelle's stickers um and girl power which is another one of my favorite sticker books ever um and then this one was i have a few things covered up with sticky notes on each spread you might notice that um just for privacy reasons but so this was girl power again because i love that sticker book and then i used some of by bad designs stickers which i love and then they went on break for quite a while so actually i'm filming today is a saturday they reopened their shop so if you don't know what i'm talking about i will link them in the video description box so you can check them out um but it's brooke and her girlfriend whose name i can't remember and they have buy bad designs on etsy and they have incredible stickers so um that's when i did a live with natasha and i made this fun little um sort of like junk journaling page to like commemorate it i guess i'm also you know was practicing using different media paper craft and ephemera and things like that and some some ink dyes if you'd like to see more of these types of um, creations, like on a video, uh, let me know. It's just maybe something that I speed up because it's like more of a creative process and not something I really want to like talk through and also not something I can really explain because it's sort of where I want to put things. So, But I could do something like this sped up to music and maybe me doing a voiceover or something like that if you're interested, let me know. Um, and then this was when Nora had some issues with her mouth, so we didn't have great sleep this week. It felt kind of like an off week. And so, yeah, that's what this week was a little bit off. But these are Create with Mandy and then Buy Bad Designs and the Press Florals. And then we're into March, so I did like some rainbows and some clovers for St. Patrick's Day. And these stickers are from Live Love Posh again. And then Kel of a Plan. This was again when I was experimenting with ink dyes. So this was a video that I filmed with ink dyes. You can go back and watch if you want to. Um, it was really fun to create, and I think I, it's about getting that time again where I want to do that. Um, I also have watercolors. I've never done that in my planner, and that's something I'd like to do. So, um, here is obviously when the new Mickey and Minnie line came out. Um, so, I used all the color on this spread. Um, and then this one was some scrapbook paper and then some stickers. Um, oh, these are from Create with Mandy. And these are from by bad designs and then i combined it with like the um scrap pa scrapbook paper here and i used a whole bunch of sticker books trust the process um for like the boxes and um, but it was matt's birthday so i wanted it to kind of represent him and then this one was cinderella i wanted to do a cinderella spread every now and then i like to put a little princess in my planner And then we're going to come into April using the spring sticker book. And then these were Whimsy Lock stickers combined with, uh, I think these are Create with Mandy. No. Yes? No. These are By Bad Designs. Some of the, I mix them up a lot because they, sometimes their vibe is similar. Um, but I liked this for like a non-traditional Easter spread, the boho bunnies. Um, Here's where we had spring break. I wanted to use some letters and the happy life sticker book. And then these are from Create with Mandy, these rainbows and these fun circles, I think are Alicia Michelle. And if you're curious about where I got stickers that I'm showing you, you can always, all of these are filmed. All these videos are filmed, Plan With Me's. So you can go look under um, Classic or Catch All. I forget what it's what it's titled. But under that playlist, all of these Plan With Me videos will be listed. So you can see if you want to see what I used um, or watch me plan it. Um, you can go check that out. Um, I'll link the whole playlist below. And this was when Nora got really sick. She was supposed, she started public school on the 12th but then she had like this really bad virus and tested positive for strep um but then we figured out she probably didn't have strep it was like a false positive um and 
she ended up being like home and having a fever and just being sick like this whole week. So a lot of things were off. But then she started back and had like a great week. And this is when I started using um, the Rong Rong dolls and um, sticker kits. I'm not a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. Um, so this was a fun one. And then this week I wanted to use Jasmine. So here we go. We have another princess making her appearance. And I think I combined it with watercolor goals, which I got a second one because I just love those watercolor splotches. And then these little like, I don't know what these are called, but I like all these decorative stickers. And then that brings us to May. And these are from like an old student sticker book. Um, but since it's like about to be spring, I wanted to use daisies and kind of like, I combined it with indigo boxes. This one was a collab with, I think it was with, it was either Natasha of La Casa de Natasha or Caitlin of Creating in Chaos. I don't remember. Um, and then this is when the uh, Out for Adventure sticker book came out and I'm, I love this one also. And then my to-do list over here. I think this is the last month I'm using the vertical layout too. I think I switch over pretty soon. Um, this was my lemons and buffalo check spread. This is also when I switched over my home decor to be all lemons and buffalo checks. So um, these are according to Allie's stickers. And then I used some black and white from the black and white. Um, and then, okay, here's another Minnie and Mickey one. End of May, there was a lot going on this week. Um, and then we're into June. So this was my monthly. I used one of my fave sticker books ever, Jungle Vibes. And then the Teacher Florals book, which you can see I didn't end up using all of these, but um, it was kind of like it was Memorial Day weekend. So I wanted to do like red, white, and blue, but in a non-traditional way. So this was my way of doing it. And then I did a rainbow spread because June is Pride Month. So I wanted to... Um, do something fun in here with that and I actually really like the way this turned out even though it's like crazy okay yeah so this is when I switch over to the dashboard layout for my catch-all um I love these alley according to alley stickers and the shells um but I have noticed since I've been using this layout I don't tend to use the left side as often so I might go back to a vertical or start doing every other week in a vertical so I did a vertical for this one because um, it was a special collab with Jess of Knit Plan Jess and she wanted to do washi art in our planners and I felt like it was easier to do it on a vertical layout than a dashboard, if that makes sense. So that's what this was. That was really fun. It took a long time. <laughs> um, and that's it for June. And since this week, I have been using the dashboard layout. Um, but like I said, I think I'm going to go back to the vertical. That's the one I've used for years and years and is my tried and true. Um, but I did want to give this a go. It's working. It's just not as preferable for me as using the vertical layout. So let me know what your thoughts are. If you want me to do like every other week, I'm happy to do like, you know, dashboard one week, then vertical, then dashboard, then vertical. Or if you're team vertical or team dashboard, let me know in the comments below. Um, because I want to make sure that I'm creating content that, um, you all want to see. So that's it, friends. That is my January through June flip through, but I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, and like I said, I will link the playlist that has all of these spreads uh, planned with me in the description box below. All right, friends, thank you so much for watching. Uh, take care. Remember that you are enough and I will see you in the next video. Bye.